If you are truly being intentional in your life and you want to find love and you're just over the dating, okay, um, make sure to subscribe because this is all the things that I'm all about. I found my happily ever after my person. We've been married together for 16 years. So if, if that resonates with you, if you want no BS, straight advice on how you can find it too, make sure you subscribe, make this a habit where you can always find out when I post a new episode every Monday and Thursday. So I want to talk about addicts um, today. And this is something that has come up um, personally in, in my life and in, in my clients' lives. And I want to speak to that. Um, if you have experienced anything with addicts or maybe you haven't, I definitely want you to lean into today's episode um, because this is something where I'm going to be really honest and I'm, I'm always honest. <laughs> I'm always blunt. And if you are an addict, you might not like this, but you know what? I, my whole goal is to help you truly find your person, a lasting, healthy, loving relationship. Okay. And when you are connecting with people, you should a hundred percent ask them on that first date, you know, about if they've ever struggled with any kind of addiction, just like that. Like you, and you can share about how maybe in your life you've have or, or you've had family members that have and share vulnerably something that's happened, you know, like that you've seen and see where they're at. It's not about you judging them and it's coming from a place of, wait, you know, where are you on your journey? If they're like, if they react in a way where they get really defensive or they get really upset and they're like, well, I don't want to talk about that. Like what's going on there? That is clearly giving me like red flags, right? Like if they don't want to talk about it, because if you're not an addict, you're like, oh my God, no, I, I, thanks for telling me about that. That's crazy. No, 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 no. I've never struggled with any kind of addiction. Actually, on the contrary, like, you know, I've grown up with seeing this, this, and this, and I always made it a point to not do that. And, you know, things like that. And you guys can actually talk about something that's not just surface level bullshit. You talk about things that are like deep right? Talking about people that you've lost to addiction, things like that, you know, like this is, or, you know, I've struggled with it. And so be fearless asking that, you know, and I think that if you never dated someone who's been an addict, you know, like I'm all about having a clear list of things that you want in your ideal partner, you know, like, because I have uh, seen and dated addicts, I had a clear, I don't want to do that again. And, you know, so much of what my energy is, is like, I want to help everybody. And I felt like I could help and, and I could fix them. I can help them. And, and the, when you're talking to an addict, you, they're on their journey. They have to decide they want to change or want to help themselves and be healthy. Nothing you can do can change that. Like, you know, I know I've seen this show intervention back in the day. Like, I don't even know. And, and I'm not an addict specialist or anything like that. But from what I have experienced and from what I see time and time and again is where, you know, if someone, first of all, is not wanting to talk about it or is hiding something or saying, you know, yeah, I drink every day and I do this every day, but it's not a problem. Like, you got to just eyes open and be like, where are they really on their journey? And understand you can't change them. You can't save them. And so as many great qualities as this person might have, if they are an addict and, you know, maybe they have acknowledged it or they probably haven't yet, but you're seeing it. You're, the actions are showing you that. This is where you have to understand. You have to accept them exactly how they are. I don't want you to like sign on to putting your heart on the line and invest your time and beautiful energy to someone thinking I'm going to save them and change them, you know? And, and so I just, I, and I feel like, let me know if this is resonating with you. Let me know if you've ever experienced this, if you've dated someone that has been an addict. Um, cause I've never heard a happily ever after story with one. I, I really haven't. It's always like the, you know, begging for them to go to rehab and, and like all this sad, it's just so sad. 
And, and as much as you can care about somebody, it's like, you got to know you have to put yourself first. You're the priority. I'm, I'm just over, I'm really over it for you guys that are keep putting so much energy into someone who's a drug addict, a porn addict and trying to help them. And oh my God, maybe they'll change for me. And they're not. And I, I really don't feel like I, it's just not possible. They have to do it for themselves. And so don't wait around. Don't wait around. Like this is where you have to be intentional. You have to make a decision. Okay. And if you have not dated one, add that to your list. <laughs> not, not an addict. Um, it'll save you a lot of time, a lot of energy. So sending you so much love. And remember, it has to be crazy love for nothing. Thank you. Until next time. <laughs>